Volkmar Viviol founded his first company at the age of 43. Today, he heads 11 companies with 600 employees. Everything okay? Let's see what's new today. We've received three flower sacks from the Arabian Peninsula. Quite exciting because they're all quite different. Actually, our customers know whether they've given us these because they know very well that we've got this booklet with all the flower sacks. And they come to us and say, but my flower sack isn't in the book. Of course, people laughed at me first, and I had to do some convincing. Yes, people found it funny. You were one of the first to be convinced, but one or two of the others said, the old man's off his rocker. The quality of flour varies according to its origin and the weather conditions, but bakers the whole world over want their bread, cakes and pastries to look good every time without varying. That is why flour is standardized with processing agents here in the production process. Every miller gets a document from us stating that his flour sacks are to be honored in our collection. Right at the beginning, I was surprised, of course, that Mr. Vivio collected flower sacks, and when I heard he wanted to make a museum out of them, I, for one, not being such a creative person, needed to be won over. We don't only collect flower sacks here, our representatives and customers look for them too, and every time they find a sack, they say, we need it, but we only collect flower sacks, nothing else. New sacks arrive nearly every day. Of course, every specimen is documented. This is my favorite sack, South America. Before we start conducting business, we say, we need your sack for our flower book. Our Hamburg businessman already possesses 2,200 flower sacks from 117 countries. It all began 15 years ago on the beach in Dubai. During a stroll, I suddenly saw a half-buried flower sack from one of my customers, and I said to myself, you can't just leave it lying there like a dead dog, you must dig it out. I dug it out with my bare hands and said to my wife, I'm going to make a work of art out of this. I'm going to take it back to Hamburg. During the first few years, hundreds of flower sacks hung in the factories and offices. When there was no free wall space left, a solution had to be found. In 2008, Volkmar Viviol found his museum at last, a former courthouse in Wittenburg near Schwerin. He rented the whole building. Hello. Hello, Mr. Viviol. Come in. Nice to see you. Many customers today? It's been quiet until now, but it'll get busy later. I think it's still too early. His secretary is in charge here. She goes to and fro between the office and the museum. On the first Sunday of each month, the museum is open to all, admission free. Here's one of my favorite sacks. This sack radiates strength, strength and symbolism. I find that superb. Each sack has its own appearance and individual significance. We even have several collector competitors in America, but no flower sack collector has as many specimens, let alone their own museum. More than 300 proud millers from all over the world have made the pilgrimage to Wittenburg to admire their flower sacks in far-off Germany. Each sack is framed and then stored in alphabetical order according to country in the Sakotech of the museum. Look, just arrived from India. Just come from India? We must have a good look at it. Splendid. And this back-to-front swastika. In India, it stands for good fortune and happiness. Good fortune and happiness. I find that very interesting. At least 3,000 flower sacks by the end of 2011. That was once our target, but somebody who is still working at 74 will presumably be collecting flower sacks for a long time.